Hello everyone and welcome to Thank You and Blaze Hotline 4 with the Cold War Iron Curtain mod. We are here with the United Kingdom with the Ashes of the Old. We are here. The UK won the vote and the plan here is pretty much the concept of uh, just hold our ground. We are the Empire and we're going to stay that way. In order to do that we have to specifically win the Suez the Suez Crisis, which shouldn't happen until around 56 or so, so we have time. If we have victory in the Suez and settle uh, the, the occupation zone or push for a regime change to get them back under our control, which would be nice, then becomes a puppet. We can strengthen ties with Israel, we can start going down. Uh, resist decolonization, dominions in Rhodesia, end of settlements down to the Commonwealth, subjugation of Canada, Australia, we take Ireland, New Zealand, Af South Africa, God save the Empress, rule Britannia, and the Raj, which will hopefully be a good start to this campaign, which means that uh, putting a lot of pressure onto the Suez Canal and its zone is going to be very important early on, but even before then, we have our first uprising, one that starts at the beginning of the game, with the uh, People's Democratic Republic of Malaya, fighting against us, so I've assembled an army, they just need to get into position. I have troops from the Malaysians themselves, I have my own troops coming in, as well as coming in from you know, Borneo, coming in from Australia, and also a large army of Indians from the Minion of India and the Minion of Pakistan. They're trying to leave, but not yet, because I'm just going to use your armies. Not for that long, because if, I, if they assist in the war, they're going to get points towards becoming free, and I don't want that. They could do it just through mechanics, but for sure they also have a way to leave by themselves. American alignment, armed neutrality, this draft of constitution, declare the Republic of India. Yeah, see that could be that could be a real problem. That is what I'm assuming is gonna happen. 50 days, 50 days. Let's hope they don't go too fast now, huh? And we're back in this world. There's also, you know, the split between West Germany and East Germany. There's the split of Austria. We have the Soviet Union to worry about. Let's hope that they don't meddle in our affairs too much. And let's go down our first thing. Rebuilding Britain. As it is what we all want to do. We should also focus on trying to uh, annex as much as we can of all these little kingdoms that are down here. One of the quickest I could see is that of British Cameroons. They could actually be annexed if I just push them a little bit more. That's this little sliver of land right here between French Cameroons and myself. That'll be perfectly fine. We will do that. We will hold on to the Empire with both hands. And as the other breakaway nations start to fall out, well, perhaps they'll fall under British rule. Who knows? I won't try to uh, change the situation too much. I just want to hold on to what we have instead of giving it all up for nothing. So let's let things run. It's going to be some fights here and there. Mostly just going to be hopefully holding on to everything. And you are moving, but you're squatting on the move. A beautiful, beautiful situation. Maybe you head that way. I see. So all of you just like to stand around while you're moving forward. Beautiful. The, the grace, the elegance. I do have a tank division, but it has no tanks. So that's not really going to be much use to anyone. In fact, you actually come down here and attack them just to hold them still. You're falling into your position. If we could swing them out of their capital, they'll at least lose the war. As you can see, there's also been some uh, changes to the UI. You don't see the DEF CON up here. You don't see anything else. You don't see the, what was it? The megawatts, because those are now considered a trade resource, electricity. I don't think you can... I guess you could technically purchase it. The... Ooh, Ku-8. Great, great. Take all your worth, Ku-8. Uh, let's see. One Lee. Oh, it's because you guys are coming in. That's right. We just need to prevent them from moving too much. These guys are encircled, so I'm attacking them from all sides. It's so funny that they're just standing still. Yeah, you take on the fight. I don't know, you attack that direction. Malacca. You are a commando 
You're not very strong, but you'll have to do. I'm hoping that especially the troops coming in from India can get there in time. It's going to take a, a while to do so. After that, the troops from Borneo and the troops from Australia, hopefully they can get in time. Just so long as we can hold on to what we have at the present moment, and at least uh, force them to settle down a bit. I don't think they're going to get any reinforcements anytime soon. Good fucking attack, Jesus. Good for them. What are you going? Ooh, hey. Is that a empty location? Is that empty space I see? Hmm. Come on, come on. Oh, that could be a problem. Keep their heads down. Don't stop firing. Yes, 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 yes. I don't, th I don't see anybody coming in soon. You guys join up there. Uh, I should be able to put a new line here now. Yeah, good. Hold them steady. Hold them steady, boys. Give them this guy because reasons. Get back into another charge. Hold them steady, boys. We might lose Malay City. As long as we hold on to Kuala Lumpur, the war should continue. Come on, get there first. Who's moving there? Oh, hey, you got leg animations. We finally figured it out. We should be able to get there first, but this brigade is not going to be strong enough to just sit around and hold them. Good. You were the ones that got there first. These troops are now surrounded, so attack them. Instant action in this episode, not what I'm usually looking to do. Australia. You want to give me a infantry equipment? I'll decline, sir. I will decline. As if I accept, then you will start getting points, and I don't want those. Any more than just helping out in wars that I am hopelessly outpositioned to actually fight. Yeah, you guys hold on for dear life. Uh, you guys have how many divisions? If both of them move at once, taking Malacca City in this position, I would be alright, especially since the Borneo troops are starting to arrive now. And they're all coming in through Kuala Lumpur. Eh. That's what they need to do. You're taking attrition a day late. Slower than I usually play, that's for sure. Oh, hey, these troops, it looks like they have finally died. So we can finish off this pocket next. Uh, you hold up with these troops. These troops continue your line through Kuala Tenegrano. What? Good, so these troops must have been finished off. The 45th Commando Royal Marines are landing in from Hong Kong. This should be just fine. If we can hold on to Mal Kuala Lumpur and Malaya, we'll have all that rubber for the quest of reclaiming an empire. Are you still moving? Yeah, three days. Uh, well, if you're here, let's get a move on. Hold that bridgehead, boys. Hold that bridgehead. And Malacca City. No one's coming in through here, but... Oh, you did. Good. You are the Jesselton Guard Division from... I'm assuming that all the flags look the same. Don't don't think about it too much now. You guys are doing just fine. Moving on in, boys. I hope that the next time I play, there won't be so many static divisions rocking around. It does look rather silly. You attack from this side, try to finish him off. Although you're you're a bit too good for this. Go into uh, Kuantan. Go into. Oh, yeah. There's some Pakistanis showing up. Showing up for the fight. Attack from this side so that they have a chance. You join up. I have a feeling about this time, yeah, we're going to start taking attrition just because of how many troops we are plunging into this location. That would be... No, a mystery button. What? Supply areas. No, nah, that's still good for now. Might just be other situations then. You, you're a... Paratrooper of the Malaysians. Interesting. Paratroops, paratroopers with a light tank. Light tanks that you don't actually have, but a light tank nonetheless. Actually, you. Starlin' Lease. How about you take some... Jesus, which one's the light tank? Conqueror. Scorpion. I think it was the Scorpion was the light tank. Uh, 
How many? I don't think I have any. Scorpions. How many did I? Yeah, none per month. Uh, per once. Number. What's the difference? Oh, that's number per month. How about uh fifty percent of the scorpions we produce, and then in production. Scorpion, 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 scorpion. Which ones are no templates? Self-propelled rocket artillery. Is that self-propelled artillery? Self-propelled rocket artillery. Not used. Good to know. The bison. Not used. Uh, heavy mechanized one. Mechanized marine. D d d hmm. Mechanized. Heavy mechanized one. H mech one. Get rid of that for now. It'll change later, but for now. Mechanized Marine, not used for now. Good to know. Then, Light Tank, the Scorpion, is starting to be produced. One every month. Let's kick it up into high gear. Not going to show up for a while, but that's okay. Two every month. Just so that they can start putting some tanks into those divisions that they're so fond of. Malaysia accepted the lend lease. It'll take one a month at this rate. Oh, here come the Indians. They don't really have a mission, so to, so to speak. The mission is just kind of take over everything that's here. Be there and guard, because I don't want them to have too much uh, power. Dominion of India, I'm assuming you'll be going down draft a constitution. Yeah, they're go they're set to leave pretty quickly. Maybe I shouldn't uh, care so much. Cancel. Remove an army. Everyone just into Kwantan. That's the location we need. This is where we need to be, boys. This is where we need to be. Let the game go again. Guantan will be taken. Roll up resistance elsewhere. Help out in that location. With that taken, that should be the war. Indeed it was. They only had one area. Take all states for myself. I, Deska, get out of here. I can't push the button unless you do. Take states by myself in turn and then just never give it up. Don't give it back to Malay, just have it myself. I'm actually perfectly fine with that. The United States took one state and the People's Democratic Republic of Malay was taken over. And the Malayan emergency, the Malayan emergency began on June the 16th. 1948, so it's been one year after months and months of guerrilla warfare in the jungles of Malaya, the emergency has finally come to an end, the countryside has been destroyed, and many people are still homeless and wounded from the battles. Malaya is hoping to become a stronger country now that the people have finally rose up. The Commonwealth have called this a disappointing defeat in Malay, Malaya, and that they will do anything to hold back communism from spreading elsewhere. The com- what? The Commonwealth have called this a disappointing defeat. Last I checked, we just won. Interesting. Yeah, I'll hold on to this myself, thank you. Two civilian factories, two military factories, 78 rubber, 50 tungsten, 10 electricity. That is a good place to hold on to myself. No need to give it over to Malaya. No, 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 no. No, thank you. In terms of trade, rubber is now excessive. I'll just get rid of that, please. Oil. Yeah, I'm just paying for one. 35, oh, so do I not even need that? Yeah, I don't even need that. Huh. Well, Malaya. Request forces, stage a coup. Did all the forces go back? No. So you troops. I have to do it by hand. These troops are free. Or more specifically, you guys get expanded. Any unit that is controlled, disband. Why does it exit out of the menu, I wonder? As for this, this is entirely Indian and Pakistani. Be gone, thoughts. Then you, Pengang Fortress, World Marines, Moral Marines. You guys just kind of, you know, chill out. Pangang Fortress was specifically over here, but that's not important to me. So just take up bases in Malaya and you're fine. Then you, Montgomery, thank you for the victory. Organization, charismatic. I don't know, I wouldn't really call him charismatic myself. 
How about organization first? That seems more like a Montgomery move to me. And maybe... Uh, come up here. Let's go! Move it! Follow me! But then you specifically, go to China region. Just because. Because what's the difference, am I right, ladies? Then you seem to have lost that. Get Montgomery, he'll be there to help defend here. You, the armor brigade, you'll help out in Tripoli, because why not? We have a tank division over here now. Hmm, we got a Royal Marine Division on Cyprus. There must be a Cyprus revolution or something to justify that. Let's see. We have a lot of infantry and airborne brigades. How about the infantry division specifically? This is possibly the most important area in the whole operation for me. So, Northumbrians, commandos. Let's take everything except the paratroopers and bring them down to Suez. We can wrap up the Sinai with the help of the Israeli state. Be able to move along. Then, promises of peace, show tutorial, decolonize the Gulf. <gasps> Never, sir. We'd get 30 political power, but they become free. Boy, don't you do it. Don't you even dare do it. I find it funny that they've added in decolonization, even though I'm pretty sure that's going to become like a its own thing in the next update for Base Hoi 4. So, as for you, Jew, yeah, okay, 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 okay. We, uh, ongoing colonial war. That should go away, though. Um, that, that, that stopped. That stopped. <laughs> George V, pop the figurehead. Permanent seat, it's cancel. So I just cannot send you any kind of volunteers, huh? Stage coup, party popularity, create faction. Join wars is a no-no. Send volunteers, I need it to be 70%. Hmm, too much. Too, too, too much. Yeah, all you guys, thank you. Ah, yay, governor idea, ongoing colonial civil war has been removed. So how about now? Now, the limit is still 70%. Why? I'm a NATO member. Recruitment population factor, 2%. Division defense on core territory. And ideological drift. Deja vu. Now then, as for what I'm thinking, if at all possible, we could have a nation led by the queen herself, that'd be preferable. But if need be, the parliamentary system works fine. It's worked for several hundred years. It can work now. Move supplies to Taiwan. Probably a good uh, idea there. Probably a good idea. As you are likely not going to lose. What's the Russians up to? Leave them to their fate. Oh yeah. Kingdom of the Grecos. Can't send volunteers to you either. But you should probably win this war. I mean, you have more troops. They're cut off in one location and then cut off there. We have faction map mode. The common t form. It's rather big. Rather scary. But Yugoslavia will stay out of it. I did set it to historical mode. I do not know how far the developers of the mod have actually put into making the AI in the game do historical mode. Wow, that's a change. Dutchy Sinzis took nine states. Republic of Indonesia was annexed. That is completely different than what happened in my game. My last game. And the Islamic State still exists. Hey, you you want some help there? Want some help there, buddies? Want some help? I got some help for you if you want some help. You just can't send them. I just can't. Brazil, what are you up to? Centrism. 100%. Oh, La Violencia. That doesn't sound terrifying at all. Uh, okay, we need rubber again. Malaysia. Time for you to uh, give it up. So the fact that uh, I'm, I'll be taking their rubber is unfortunate because that means that they will start taking um, manager subjects. Malaysia, Malaya, Malaya. I have literally no idea where I'd find that. But they will start ticking up in autonomy points. Not exactly great. Not exactly what I want. Also, Vietnam. I see you've attacked Laos. Good for you. And you're just starting to bleed your colors in, too. Looks like they're holding out in Cantho. A thin eye, boy, me for that. 
As for us, we wait. I should probably speed up the game now that that crisis is done. But what else can we do with our time? Hmm. I know there's been reworks to France and Italy. Hopefully things go all right. Launch a counteroffensive. What? Oh, right, because you're at war. Because you're not as good as me. You're drafting the Constitution. You're definitely going to leave very soon. Unfortunate events. You're a Dominion, and you're just going to go go free like that. Huh. Hmm, <laughs> But with that, it's the end of the episode. I am going to have to cut the video here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next episode, where we will hold on to our Dominion. Thank you for watching. See you then. Bye-bye.